all living organisms required nutrients because those are essential for life and health of the living organism there are many food components like carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins and minerals all those are very important for life of a living organism and hence those are considered as a nutrient or those are called as nutrients now what are the functions of nutrients so nutrient helps a living organism in many ways so nutrients build their bodies then nutrient helps organism to grow then nutrient helps to repair a damaged tissues or parts of their bodies and nutrients provide energy to carry out life processes what is a nutrition nutrition is the mode of taking food by an organism and its utilization in the body so that is called as a nutrition nutrition is divided into a different modes so first mode of nutrition is called as autotrophic nutrition now autotrophic nutrition means what the organism which has ability to synthesize their own food is called as autotrophic nutrition and the plants are having ability to uh, prepare their own food and therefore those are considered as autotrophs so the organisms which can prepare their own food are called as autotrophs then the next type of uh, nutrition or mode of nutrition is heterotrophic nutrition so it is a nutrition in which organism get their food directly or indirectly from the plant material and therefore these are considered as a heterotrophs hetero means others so the agents which depends or the organism which are depends on others for their food are called as a heterotrophs so uh, example are animals so different animals those are heterotrophic because those are dependent upon the uh, autotrophs that means uh, on plants for their food now how the plants are making food it is very interesting process and let us discuss that process uh, the food making process in the plant is called as photosynthesis and for the photosynthesis there are few requirements for example the plants can produce their food by using a different things so first thing required for photosynthesis is sunlight then the second thing that is a water then carbon dioxide and chlorophyll so these things are important and plants utilizes all these things and with the help of these things they are producing the uh, energy or food in form of a carbohydrate now where the photosynthesis takes place photosynthesis takes place in leaves now sunlight is coming from the sun and it is absorbed by the chlorophyll so these are the green pigment which are present in the leaves now on epidermal surface there is a presence of uh, palisade cell beneath the epidermal cell and in that palisade cell the chloroplast is present and that chloroplast is consisting of the chlorophyll so ultimately beneath the epidermal layer there is a presence of chlorophyll and that chlorophyll is very important because it absorb the sunlight and it is a pigment then for photosynthesis water is also required now water is taken up by the roots and through the transportation system it is transported towards the leaf and uh, carbon dioxide is required now from where this carbon dioxide is coming uh, it is coming from the stomata that is called as a minute opening and these minute openings are present on the surface of leaves and from there the leaves are taking up carbon dioxide which is required for the photosynthesis process so these all requirements are taken up by the plant and 
in the next step they are forming the carbohydrates so let us discuss that so the chlorophyll it is a uh, important constituent and it uses the energy from sunlight to prepare food with the help of uh, water and carbon dioxide okay in this figure you can see the carbon dioxide and water uh, and sunlight all these will process into the chlorophyll section and there there uh, the reaction takes place and with that reaction they will form a carbohydrate normally sugar molecules are formed and those are uh, name as a glucose so carbon dioxide water in presence of chlorophyll it will produce a sugar uh, as sugar are uh, examples of carbohydrate and then later on it is converted into the starch and during photo photosynthesis oxygen is released uh, this is an equation of a photosynthetic reaction so once again i will explain it carbon dioxide plus water a uh, sunlight in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll will give carbohydrate and oxygen oxygen is very important for living organism therefore photosynthesis process is very important and helpful for living organism how one it is producing the food and second it is producing oxygen so both those things are very important for living organism